What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today is a video that I've never done before that I'm super excited to do and it is a home decor haul. If you didn't know, I recently moved to a house a couple of months ago so I'm in the process of furnishing this house. Home decor is hella expensive. I love home decor. Like that's my favorite thing about moving is I get to like redecorate and get re-inspired but it is expensive so I kind of had this moment last week where I was just kind of like F it and I just bought a bunch of home decor. I feel like I have two different moods. Like I either won't buy any home decor for a really long time or I'll buy one item and then I'm like, screw it. And then I just like throw a ton of stuff in my cart. I'm the same way with makeup. I'm like, oh, I don't need to spend any money. And then I walk out of Sephora with like a whole bag that I didn't need to buy any of it. So I asked you guys on Snapchat and on Twitter if you would like to see a home decor haul. It was overwhelmingly yes. Overwhelmingly yes. That's such a hard word to say. <sighs> Needless to say, everyone said yes, absolutely. And it was funny because I did a poll on Twitter and someone was like, who did a thumbs down? And someone was like, I accidentally did. Like literally everyone wanted me to do this, which makes me happy because it's good to switch it up. You know, not just makeup all the time. I love to switch it up sometimes and do other stuff. And I am just so obsessed with home decor and I'm so excited to show this with you guys. I went to Target, Home Goods. Um, I have something from Urban Outfitters. Where else did I go? Crate and Barrel. So let's start with Home Goods. So I went to like three Home Goods over the past week and a half. I was going there so much that they were like, oh, welcome back. And I'm like, this is super embarrassing. Home Goods is one of my favorite home decor stores just because they have so many unique items and they're really inexpensive for the quality. They have a lot of just really inexpensive items and then they have a lot of high-end items that are just inexpensive. like. You'll see when I show you. First thing I got is for holidays. I got this little cranberry, well, it looks like cranberries. They're really not cranberries. I don't think there are any cranberries on here, but it reminds me of cranberry, like Christmas time. Um, they're little red flowers with like little icicles and I'm gonna put a little candle in it. I got this for my coffee table for the holiday time. Thought it was cute. I got so many champagne glasses, wine glasses, just cocktail and drink in general glasses. I'm not a drinker, I'll have a glass of wine every once in a while or a social drink. Again, very rarely will you ever see me drinking, I'm just not a drinker. This might sound really weird, but it's always been a home decor dream of mine to have a bar cart. I've always wanted one and I've never been able to have one. So I found this amazing bar cart at Home Goods. okay? Oh my gosh, so, so amazing. I went to the Home Goods in South Bay and I freaking, Love it. I paid $200 for the cart, which is not bad at all because every other cart I found is like three to $600. And this is like Target, like random places. It's not even an expensive bar cart. I don't know why they're so expensive, but they are. So I found this one and I was like, oh my gosh, yes, absolutely. So I got the gold bar cart that I'm gonna show a clip of right now. Everything on the bar cart is also from Home Goods. This little gold bar cart is gonna go in my sitting room. I don't know if I'm supposed to call it that, but that's what I call it. Like right when you walk into my house, there's a little room that could be a dining room, but I'm like in my dining room right now. So I didn't want to have another dining room. So I'm just gonna make the, a little sitting area. So I'm gonna have that little gold bar cart for when people come over, if they want a drink or whatever. I also got a little black bar for my office for when I have meetings. So that way I can be like professional and like girl boss, you know, that is all black. So since I got that black bar area, which has not come in the mail yet, and the gold bar cart, I wanted to obviously decorate it. So I got so many different like wine glasses, champagne glasses, just all kinds of cool little glasses from Home Goods. They were so inexpensive, you guys, and so, so, so nice. The most glasses I got were for the gold. Like, look at how cute this is. This is an ombre clear to like a brass rich gold. I also got this set of glasses and this looks like Versace, which is why I loved it. Um, Raph actually picked this out. And this was, I think it was $20 for a set of like 10, which is so inexpensive, but I did see at another home goods that they were selling these individually for 12 bucks. So if you see these, look for this set because it's so much cheaper that way. I also got some rose gold glasses. This probably looks silver on camera, but it's like a peachy rose gold. And I got this for more my dining setup because my dining chairs are black velvet with a rose gold trim. I also got two of these candle holders and candles. These came separately. So these candle holders I found like this, I got two of these and then I found these candles just sitting and then I put them in. I think I might put this in the little gold sitting area or on my dining table, just kind of depending, but I thought they were really cool because they have these like little gold rhinestones in them. So I thought they were cool. 
As you saw in the close-up of the gold bar cart, I got some of these crystal glasses. I feel like such an adult getting all this stuff. These were about $12 a piece, which might seem expensive, but at a lot of other home stores I had that had like real crystal glasses, some of them were like $40 a glass and I was like, no thank you. So I splurged on these. I did get a couple of these for the gold bar cart and also my office bar cart. Also for my office cart, I got some other little goodies. I got this little cup. It's the same thing, but it's just a small one. I only found one of these. I literally looked all over Home Goods, could only find one. So I picked up this one. And then I also got two of these glasses, which I thought were really cool. They're this cool like geometric with a silver like flower on the front. I don't know if you guys can see it but I thought it was really, really cool. And the bar in my office isn't so much a bar cart. It's literally like a freestanding bar. It's like a, all black with silver, or like chrome. So I got this little ice bucket. It has like a metal braiding on the top. I don't know, I really liked it. It's really simple, but I really liked it. And then I got the matching little shaker that goes with it. My office is gonna be more black concrete chrome. I want more like a serious tone. I'm also gonna add little hints of like brown leather. I have like a faux cowhide rug that I purchased as well. So I'm excited to show you guys that when it's done, but I'm just kind of like filling you in on my inspiration for this. Also, I don't wanna break it, but oh, I also got this pineapple. Oh, so cute. I got this for my office. It's silver. I think pineapples are so cute. I don't know. I don't have anything pineapple until I got the little gold one for my bar cart. And this, I'm just gonna put water with some fruit in my office for when people come in, they can get some water. So I also got a bunch of random like vases and bowls and plates from Home Goods. This, oh my gosh, I just love it. This is, it looks like shattered glass. It's silver with little rose gold, like pebbled, Hope you can see on camera, like pebbled, I don't know. It's just cool. And the inside is rose gold, which I also thought was really cool. So I got this originally for my dining room table. The hard thing about home decor is that anything that's pretty, I'm just like, okay, I need that, I want that. But it's not till I get it home that I can see if it works. So I'm not gonna put this on my dining room table right now. I think I'm just gonna put it in my glam room or somewhere else and fill it with flowers or something. I'm not really sure yet, but it's just so beautiful that I will find some kind of use for it. So I picked this up. Originally my dining table was gonna be more rose gold because like I said, the chairs are black velvet with rose gold, but my rug is like a gray and then my table is smoked glass with brass and then you can see like this picture is like a silver that goes down to gold. I'm still figuring that out, but you'll see all of the dining table, like tabletop stuff that I got. And now it's more brass and silver. So I'm not sure I'm gonna do that yet, but I'll figure it out. I also got this for my office. Um, I'm hoping I'll be able to use it. This, I was going to put the little mixer and ice bucket on top of or something. I don't know. I thought it was really cute. Don't know if I'll still use it, but it's just a little tray. So maybe I can use it for like parties and stuff if I don't use it for that, but I thought it was really cute. Random, something that is so annoying to me, they put the stickers in the worst places on all these products. Like the stickers were so hard to get off the glasses and some of them like I could not get it off the stuff. I just pulled a sticker off this, which made me think of it because now there's a huge mark, but I freaking love this. So this was $10. I got this obviously from Home Goods. It's a rose gold pebbled tray. I felt like it was very modern. I might use this again for a dining table setup or I might use it for my coffee table because my coffee table is a marble with rose gold accents. I actually have a lot of mixing metals in my house. I have silvers, I have golds, bronze, rose gold, chromes. I just have a lot of mixing and some rooms are more one metal than others, but I've been really into mixing. I saw this once and didn't get it and I kept thinking about it. And then when I went back, I was like, girl, I gotta get it. So super cute. Next is this hand decorated accent glass. This was $12.99. How gorgeous, like, hope you can see the detailing. So this again, is an accent piece. It could go on a dining table or a console table or a coffee table and it matches my dining room so well. The cool thing about my dining room that I didn't plan on when I was putting it all together is that since there are so many different colors, I can go a lot of different routes. I can go this color, I can go a gold for the dining table, I could go a rose gold. So again, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but I really like it. So. 
I'll find something to do with it. What do you know, another tray. I love this tray. Okay, so this tray is black with gold veining. It looks like a black and gold marble. I love black marble so, so, so much. So I got this because in my sitting room, that's gonna be more gold. I got these black couches so and they have gold legs. So I might put this on the coffee table in that room since it is black and gold, I don't know. But again, I could also use this in my dining room. I feel like everything goes <laughs> back to my dining room. Like, so random. You know what's funny is that I never cared to have a dining table really. Like when I first moved to LA, I literally had a couch and a bed and my glam room and that was it. And then ever since I moved here, I've like have been so into the dining room. So um, yeah, I got this and this was $12.99 as well. I got these little napkin rings from Home Goods. Who knows why I got these? I just thought they were really cute. They're like glitzy and taupe and beady and black and I thought they were really cute. And then I got some of these dinner napkins in gray and these are like fabric. So I'm gonna put these on my dining table, especially for friends saving. I think it'll be like cute, you know? It'll be cute. Next up is this little rose gold bowl, very similar to the tall piece that I showed you. It's a shattered rose gold glass. I originally did get this with the big one for my dining table and I didn't really like the way that it looked. So I don't know, I might just put flowers in here and maybe put it in my living room once Christmas is over since I have that little Christmas piece. But I think it's just so cute. I love little like vases and bowls and I used to have so many little pieces like that when I was in Tennessee in my house. And I love like decorating with stuff. Um, next, I got this little Christmas tree, so cute. So this is like, a wood with glitter, chrome. It also has like a little bit of like a rosy tone to it. So I got this for maybe like a window or a desktop because I love Christmas. And I do have quite a bit of Christmas decor this year, but that's okay because it's so worth it. Like my mom told me that I shouldn't get a tree and just save my money. And I was like, mom, I love Christmas time. I also got this little Christmas tree. It's the same color, except for this one is a candle. I'll probably put it right next to that tree. I actually tried this. You guys are gonna like think I'm crazy, but I also tried this with that big tree on my dining table for Christmas. I think that's what I might do. I'm just totally into my dining table. That's a new thing. I found these really cute glitter plates. They're not glitter to the touch. Um, the bottom, you can feel the glitter, but they don't really come off on your hands because it's always super annoying. Like you look at something, it's so beautiful and glitter gets everywhere. This was $7.99, it comes with four plates. The other one I got, they're all taupe glitter, but I couldn't find those. So I could only find one set of the four, so I ended up to get this as well. I think these are so cute for party planning. I act like I always have parties in my house, but you know what I mean. Like when I told my mom I got these to throw a party, she was like, do you have any friends? And I'm like, wow, mom, thanks. So I thought this would be super cute for holidays. And let's be honest, I'll eat on a glitter plate any day of the week. Last two little bits from Home Goods, I was so excited about, like so excited. I found a set of these Moscow Mule Cups. I love these mugs so much. Obviously I found out about these from Moscow Mules. I do like Moscow Mules. However, I love ginger ale. I don't know, it's so random. I feel like a lot of people only drink ginger ale when they're sick, but I love the way ginger ale tastes. And this with ice and ginger ale, it's so cold and it's so good. And I love drinking from these, but even better, I found a set, I think it came with three or four of those. Look at this one, you guys. It is massive and I love these so, so, so much. If you buy these at any other store, they're so expensive. I feel like they can be like 15 to 20 plus for one. I think the set of three was like 12 or $15, which is amazing. And I think this one was like definitely under 10, but it was worth it. I freaking love these. So then I went to Target or as I like to call it, Charge. So Target has a new collection called Hearth and Hand. All my friends are telling me about it. We all love some Target. So Karen, or I love Sarai, and I went to Target and I was like, oh my gosh, we wanted everything. So most of the stuff that I got from Target is from Hearth and Hand. Um, I got these two little candles. It's the Hearth and Hand with Magnolia hand poured pillar candle and cedar magnolia. I got two black ones because I do have a lot of black in my house. I thought it would be cute for a coffee table and they smell really good. Like really good. I don't know much about the couple. I believe they're a couple that started this. I know, I think they were on a TV show or something, but all of their stuff was amazing. You're gonna see like, I wanted everything. This candle was $4.99 and this was $8.99. I got this little black serving tray also from the line. 
it's like a matte black. I think it's so cool. I'm having a friend's giving at my house, so I thought maybe like I could put cheese or like something cute. I don't know, it's a serving tray. You could also use it as a tray on a coffee table. It actually looks really cute with the candles. I was like trying this out earlier. This, how much was this? This was $19.99 and it is made out of, it's just stoneware. Okay. It feels really expensive. Like it feels sturdy. I feel like I just got out of like, the pottery studio and made this next up i got these vases also from hearth and hand they're like a smoked glass i got this size and i got one more that's a little bit larger i think i'm gonna put these in my bedroom on the floor and put like branches or like big flowers in them just some kind of plant these will obviously be fake plants but they're really really beautiful and my bedroom is like different shades of gray and like earthy tones so i thought they would be really really cute and this small one was 22.99 i believe the bigger one was 32. the cool thing i noticed they also had these lanterns that i really liked that i almost got and they were like I think the most expensive, the biggest one was $32, which is very inexpensive for lanterns. Like the lanterns I really want are like a hundred or $200 a piece. And I'm just like, no, thank you. So the price points were really well for the quality, I think. And I mean, Target's usually pretty affordable. Okay, how cute is this measuring cup set? It's like a matte black and I didn't have, I literally have one measuring cup that's one cup and that's it. I can use that as the excuses why I don't cook, right? I've been cooking more lately, but I feel like this will make me cook more. I think it was like maybe 10 bucks, 12 bucks. Don't quote me. The last things I got from that particular collection at Target was this little bowl and plate set. I got four bowls and four little plates. So these are like little mini, like you can use them for, I don't know, dressings, salads, I guess whatever you want. Not like, okay, maybe not a salad because it's really tiny, but maybe like, I don't know, I don't know. They're really cute, okay? I needed them. They both are just white with a gold trim. I don't know if you can see it. It's a very faint bronze trim and in person and the lights they had at Target, it was just like glowing. And the funny thing was, is Karen and I both wanted these. So we're like, okay, we have to get them. So they had eight, so we each got four. <laughs> and when I got to check out, my plates were gone. And I'm like, someone stole them from my cart. Like who? Who would do that, Amanda? I actually took them out of my cart and left them down somewhere, which I then like looked all over the store and, and found it. And I felt silly because the girl working, I was like, hey, did you see any plates? Like sitting around, she was like, these plates? And I was like, thanks girl, but these are so cute. They had some similar at Crate and Barrel that I wanted that were $20 a plate. And I was like, so I'm really glad I found these. I got this little hourglass for my office desk. It is a light like old gold color it's not too yellow with a stone marble print base and black sand i thought it was just so chic and again my office is going to be more chrome more silver more texture not as much gold but i thought this was like just enough gold and also it's more of like a silvery gold so i really like this and this was no price i don't remember but i feel like it was 20 bucks or less and i think it's a really cute desk piece so when people come to my office for a meeting i'm going to be like you have until the sand runs out. I don't know why I got this. Karen made me buy this, this basket. It's so cute though. So this is just called a lange, a lange basket, 20 bucks. I don't know, from Project 62 is the line at Target. They had black, they had gold. I love this gold, it's so pretty. I mean, I'll probably use it for blankets or just to put stuff in. I don't know, I just needed it and I thought, it was beautiful. Like I, everything else I buy home decor, I'm like, I need it. I don't know why I just need it. Last thing from Target, again, Karen made me buy this. She swore up and down that it was life changing. So I got the Poopery Before You Go Toilet Spray in lavender vanilla. I actually tried it today and I think it was pretty magical. So uh, thanks Karen, I actually snapped her from the toilet and I was like, hey, I'm trying it out. Okay, I actually bought this a couple of weeks ago and it was in the background of one of my last videos, but I never talked about it. I don't even think I snapped it. So I want to show you guys because it's so freaking cute. Slay, I hope it's showing up on camera, but it's like hot pink and it says Slay and I'm obsessed with it. I might put it in my, I got it for my beauty room. Um, so I'm either gonna put it in there or my office. <laughs> So cute. I got this from Urban Outfitters. Another piece I got a few weeks ago, but I wanted to show you guys because I haven't even opened it yet. Is this little picture. This is from Z Gallery. It's a little Chanel perfume. They had a bunch of different colors. These weren't too bad priced. I don't remember because the price tag isn't on here, but I feel like it was around, I don't even want to tell you because I feel like I'm always way off. I feel like it was around $30, which I feel like prints anymore are hundreds of dollars. And I'm like, girl, it's not that serious. Why is a print that you printed off so expensive? 
So I want to put this in my mega broom and I really, really love it because I'm a perfume hoarder and who doesn't love Chanel? Chanel pictures are just everything. Next up is Crate and Barrel. I went a little bit overboard at Crate and Barrel. This is actually the first time I've ever shopped at Crate and Barrel. I went there just to look at their bar cart accessories because I was looking for a decanter for the bar cart and then I ended up finding a lot of really, really cute stuff. I actually love CB2. I've purchased some stuff from them. They're always out of stock, but they have a lot of great pieces. So Crate and Barrel was definitely a little bit more mature, definitely a little bit more classic, but I found a lot of things that I really, really liked. And I have some of it that has not come in yet. They're bigger pieces, so I'll probably show on Snapchat. But I have a lot of dining table, dining room pieces. This is the first time I've ever bought any kind of like really dinnerware. I'm not even kidding you, up until now, I pretty much have always had whatever bowls and plates my mom gave me. Like I've just never been really into it, never cared much about it. I think when I moved to LA, I had two bowls and four plates. I remember when my best friend was helping me unpack and she was like, Amanda, I think that we're missing the box with all your bowls and plates. And I was like, no, that's it. I only have two bowls and four plates. So I'm excited to announce that I bought my first big girl dinnerware set. Well, I mean, it's not a set, but I purchased some plates and stuff for the first time, okay? I'm really, really proud. So I got these placemats from Craig and Barrel. They're so freaking cute. They're like a flannel-ish pattern. I really, really like them. They're very cozy, very warm. Again, something that I want to play with in my house more is texture. So adding different textures like faux leathers and glam and metals, linens and velvets and all these different kind of textures that look just really cool to the eye, marble stones, you know? So this is very fuzzy, it's very warm, where my dining room is very, I would like to think glam modern, but I like this because it's more like almost rustic, comfy cabin, so I like the mix. So I got this little placemat, I got a set for my table. A lot of this stuff is still in the box, so I'm gonna have to like open it up while we do this, but I'm gonna open them up and then show you so it's not like, feedback in the mic and it sounds like really annoying. This is gonna be in a really random order because I'm just opening as I open the boxes. So I got some of these little shot glasses for my bars. They're like super cute, old fashioned. I really like them. And then I also, this is what I went into Crate and Barrel for. Um, I actually got two, but this is the first one. I got this decanter, very old fashioned, very old style. The other one I'm gonna show you is a very modern style. So I wanted to get two different ones and this is like just very glam, very old fashioned-y. This is a classic decanter to me. I think it's gonna look so beautiful. So I got these two pieces and random, like as I'm opening, you know how when you pay more for something, you start like over analyzing everything. Like I'm unwrapping all this stuff and I'm like, wow, the tissue paper feels extra soft. And it's like, no man, that's probably the same that every other store uses. So since I'm going for more of that charcoal gray feel on my dining table top, I got these glasses. It's like a clear to a black smoked glass. Super cool, I think they were about $5 a glass. Definitely max 10, but I think they were about $5 a glass. I fell in love with these in store. This is a set of six, is it six, five? I can't count five. This is a little candle set. It has five candles, it's like an iron with bronze accents on it. You can see like really close up. So I got two of these and the candles. This is my main piece on my dining table. I love the way it looks. If I was looking at this online, I would never pick it up. Like it's one of those things where I had to see it in store and then I was like, oh my gosh, it looks so nice. And again, mine is more glam, but I like how this adds a little bit of like a masculine feel to it. So I got two of these. I love these, they're so cool. So I got a set of these charger plates. Now, what are charger plates? Honestly, I wasn't really sure. Um, Nancy, who is the sweetest woman ever. So thank you so much, Nancy, for helping me at Crate and Barrel. Not that she would ever watch this video, but Nancy was awesome. So I had to have her explain to me like, what is a charger plate? Because I knew you set plates on top of them, but I was like, you don't eat on these, right? Again, I'm like very new to dining entertaining, so don't make fun of me. Did invest in these. These were pricey, at least I felt like they were pricey. These were $15 a piece, and I have a larger dining table, so I was like, but this is something that I can always have, and hopefully they won't get messed up, right? I think they should be good. I love the way that this charger plate, well, actually the whole setup look um, with this, like it looks pretty, I can't even show you guys. I'm gonna use these for my friends giving, so I'm hoping to vlog that so I can do like little shots so you can see how everything looks. My decor style lately has been a little bit more masculine. I love the all white, the all gold, and I do have some areas like that in my house, but I've been really into dark grays and blacks. So these are the plates that I got, they're so cool. They're like a gray with a speckled black, and then the bottom is black. 
I really like them. Again, they look like you just came out of a pottery studio. I don't know. I really like it. And the bowls I got look really weird, but they look really cool on top. They're the exact same print, but so cool. So this is the other decanter that I got that I was talking about. It's a lot more modern. It's like a round with a little bubble on top. So I don't know if I'm going to put them both on one bar cart or switch them up. I'm not sure but it's a very elegant, a lot more glam where the other one was a lot more classic. Okay, I have two more pieces. Next is this marble wine cooler. This is gonna go in my office on the bar since it's more like black and chrome. Oh, it's so nice and it's more of like a gray and I liked all the veining. All of their pieces had different veining so you can kind of pick what kind of veining that you like. So I got this little wine cooler. And then last, but certainly not least, is my fruit bowl. This is gonna go in the kitchen. This is the same print. It's a marble fruit bowl. Put some lemons, some limes, some fruit, but real fruit, not like fake fruit. And it's really heavy, so I'm gonna put it down now because I feel like I'm getting an arm workout. So that is everything out from my home decor haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun filming it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you want more videos like this and to hit subscribe down below if you have not already joined my A-team. I have stuff everywhere now, so I'm gonna go spend the next hour cleaning all of this up. It was well worth it. I had a lot of fun sitting on here and opening everything with you guys. I love you so much. I hope you're having the best week, and I will catch you in my next video.